Thanks for tuning into the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the car market and how dealerships are panicking and they have fears that a recession's coming. So let's take a look. As you can see, this inventory all behind me, every spot's full. You got so many cars that they're running out of space for some of them and they're having to park in front of other cars. And the reason for this, demand on vehicles is not as high, right? Affordability is starting to be a huge issue, high interest rate. So you put high prices together, high interest rate, and people are still gonna eventually stop buying because they can't afford to do so anymore. You can see that. Now, if you see some of my videos, I am starting to say there's a reset, you can say, because prices are finally starting to come down and we're gonna start getting in a better position. Now, it's not gonna happen overnight, but the start has begun. Now, if you're not noticing it, start going on autotradercars.com. You're gonna start seeing that prices are going down and you're gonna have more power to buy. Right now, I'm at CarMax. There are no hassle dealership. So coming here to try and negotiate, that wouldn't really work. But at other dealerships where you can negotiate, that's exactly what I would start doing because now you have the power because they're not selling cars, it's Evelyn. You see it here, I'm showing you. I'm, I came here in person to, so you can see how these inventory lots are doing if you haven't seen it yourself. And I'm gonna show you more cars. Let's go over here. see this this is a holding lot for CarMax so the majority of these cars are either going to be auctioned off or sold here on, on the lot they hold an auction I think every Monday I'm not sure of the days but they do hold an auction on site and look at all these cars that they gotta either try to sell or auction off and you can see just rows and rows and rows of cars that they got to try to unload and again the demand is down they're not selling as much and you can see these dealerships their lots are overflowing and that's why the reset's coming you got to get these cars sold right that's otherwise if you're not selling cars and you can't get them sold you're gonna you're gonna go out of business so this is what's gonna help bring the prices down which you can start checking out online on autotradercars.com and other websites like it you're gonna start seeing a lot of reduction it's because inventories are getting really filled up Auctions are getting more and more cars to sell and dealerships are buying less because their lots are already full. They got no more spots to really store cars, so they got to get them moving. And the only way they're going to do that is by incentives and reducing prices. You saw the overflow lot. You saw how they have a ton of cars that they got to auction off and get rid of. But now I also wanted to show you a little bit on channel some cool trucks and cars that are on the lot. Here you can see I got a Raptor up close. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the car market, if you saw anything that caught your eye. And I'll be showing you the prices they're asking here. So this Raptor here, if it caught your attention. Let's see what they're asking for this thing. The tent's pretty dark, so it's hard to see. I don't even think you can really see, but there is a sticker there. Uh, it's a 2020 with 85,000 miles and they're asking 41,998. What do you think on a Raptor? Is that a good deal? Would you pay that? If you want to know my opinion, I think that's kind of high for the mileage. But I'd like to know what you think. Next to it, I got a, there's a Limited. Looks a little bit newer. Let's see here on the glass. So it's actually, no, it's older. It's a 2018 and they want 35,998. What do you think about that? And then here they got a little example on the car payments. I don't think you can see it through the window, but they're saying with excellent credit, you could pay 648 for 72 months on this truck. What do you think about that? Let's get a look here in the back. As you can see, it's a little limited. You got the Raptor over here. They blacked out the logo over here they got a newer one this is a king ranch this one needs price so i don't know the price on it king ranch i'm guessing they're gonna ask about 65 000 fx4 let me know what you think it has the electric side steps sorry for the noise in the background I'm by a major road, so you can hear some of the cars passing by. They got another Raptor over here. This one's a little bit more fixed up in better condition. They did some lights over here. 
It has a bed cover. So this one's a 2020 with 31,000 miles and then 157,998. I think this one's actually better priced than the other one. If you're a Raptor fan, let me know. They got some Mavericks. Toyota Tacoma TRD 4x4. But as you can see, these lots, they're full. I showed you the overflow inventory, showed you, you know, the prices, and they definitely need to come down more in interest rates as well to get these trucks and cars and SUVs sold. Definitely everything's really, really up there, and it's definitely starting to make an impact on dealerships being able to sell cars let me know what you think i appreciate you watching if you haven't done so please consider subscribing smash the like button and see you on the next one